Wow. So this is what 5,000 people who give a damn looks like, hey? Wow. Well, that was an amazing speech, Ed. I can remember last year's March when Ed did his speech. I watched it online and it gave me chills. It gave me chills because I could see the pain in his eyes. It gave me chills because I could feel the strength, the courage and the conviction in his voice. And now this year I have a chance to join you all and stand up here beside Ed as a display of unity. Today we put our differences aside and we join together for one struggle. Today we march arm in arm for the most noble cause. We march for the most enslaved, oppressed and victimised group of beings on earth ever. The animals. The animals are so defenceless and so vulnerable like children. The animals have trusted us and we have betrayed them. Humans have betrayed their trust and have systematically tortured and murdered these innocent childlike beings for something as trivial as a sandwich. Sometimes I feel ashamed to be called a human being, to stand upright. But then I look around at this sea of strong, courageous activists and it makes me so proud. So proud and so positive. I see the masses taking veganism seriously and it gives me hope. Hope and motivation that what we are doing is working. Yes, the animals are innocent. Yes, they have done nothing wrong to deserve the horrific abuse and torture humans inflict on them every second of every day. But we as activists are their defenders and we must stand together worldwide from across countries to support each other. Today we stood together for the plight of animals. We stand together in solidarity for animal liberation and we'll march into the streets and make sure our voices are heard. For every single time we turned a blind eye to their suffering, we owe them. For every single time we participated in their murder, we owe them. Being an activist is the very least we owe them. You know, when Ed and Luna brought out their animal rights film, Land of Hope and Glory, I watched it and I weeped. I weeped because I felt helpless. I weeped because I could feel their suffering like it was my own and I couldn't stop it. But it was in that moment of helplessness that I realised I can do something. We can do something. We are doing something and we are not helpless. We can stop this. And by channeling all that emotion into our activism, mark my words, we will stop this. We must work tirelessly as activists towards a vegan world. We can never have peace until the animals have peace. We can never give up, no matter what. When it comes to being an activist, we have to be brave. Courage isn't something you're born with. It's something you build on and work on. It's something that comes from gradually stepping outside of your comfort zone and speaking out against injustice. Courage is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Today we march for those who can't march for themselves. We shout loud our truth for those who can't speak for themselves. And we'll stand up and fight for those who can't defend themselves. Never underestimate the power of a fearless, dedicated group of activists. This is the power we have when activists unite. And we won't stop until we have total animal liberation. Never give up. Thank you. Thanks,